it's time to realize that the more we can live in the moment, the more we can channel our gifts into living the best life possible. We can never know what lies around the next corner so, instead of living in fear of uncertainty, when we befriend it, those self-imposed prison walls of doubt and procrastination fall away, leaving us to fly free. It doesn't matter how much we want certainty or guarantees, it just isn't possible. We can struggle, fight, and resist, but it doesn't change things. So coming to terms with the impermanence of a shifting world can bring us grace and serenity. Finding peace and acceptance in an ever-changing landscape takes courage and wisdom. But we are evolving and creative souls, and it's time now to seek out new ways of living and being. This is easier said than done when we find ourselves being tossed around by the storms of life. But when we turn towards the storms and allow our intuition to guide us, we find ways to flourish and thrive. It's hard to articulate this shift, but the more we let go, the more peace we find. Many of us have experienced abundant soul growth in our most recent lifetimes, including this one. In this, we have often attracted experiences similar to those from previous lives that involved destruction. Why on earth would any soul choose something so similar? And why often so quickly one after the other, barely been up there and already back for the next life on earth? The reasons for this are stored in the Akashic Records but also in our higher self. Often we did not have to have a long, earthly life to be able to experience again, in human form what growth was possible. Our last lives have been a catalyst for insights related to what we could design for our current life. Before our current incarnation, many of us returned to heaven and its higher dimensions. There we processed our previous experiences and worked hard on ourselves, together with our accompanying team, to be able to return. But this time with a more comprehensive healing plan that would previously have required multiple incarnations. But what we wish for you all to remember is the unity that exists not only between each of you, but between all of you and all of us, all that there is this is the unified consciousness field. It is animated by source, it is reinforced by love. And remember, that although humanity appears to be divided, that through these challenges, through these circumstances that may emphasize and enhance division within your realm in essence, you are simply being encouraged to move closer to each other, to learn that these manufactured divisions, whether they are through the divisions of nationality, political alignments, religion, any other beliefs, that they are but temporary, that they are but fragments of human consciousness in this realm that will one day wash away. Living wholeheartedly means taking a chance on life, exploring new terrain, and opening up to the unknown. So many of us hover on the periphery, doubting our gifts or waiting for a better moment, and so many of us never get the chance to grab hold of life with both hands. Of course, grabbing life with both hands means opening up to some good experiences and some not so good experiences, but that's an inevitable part of life. We cannot outrun challenges, but we can learn and evolve from them. Life is for living, not for trying to manage ourselves from the struggles. We can build brick walls around our hearts and souls, but surely all this achieves is to further numb ourselves from living a rich and full life. It's time to embrace our strengths, resilience and gifts, and instead of feeling broken, alone, or disconnected, to seek out ways to find connection once again. There sadly isn't an instruction manual for life, so we each need to find our own way. Even though we may feel alone, there are always like-minded souls connected to us by a unity of vision. When we pause and take a deep breath, we can recenter once again. This time, coming into our full light power does not mean the end of our story. 
By giving ourselves that love that we can just be ourselves, and by doing our own version of light work, we understand that all those old experiences no longer serve us. Need to determine. We know from our own experience that the universal triptych of life, death, and rebirth applies to everything and everyone. And there we are now, with that powerful inner knowing that says, Even though all this happened to me, still I am love and light. Everything in me that still denies this show it to me, so that I can embody even more love and light. Could there be a more powerful statement and a greater example to dedicate our lives to? And to do this without any ego entanglements, we are truly discovering how we can use the divine powers of creation for ourselves, for each other, and for the earth. As you are faced and confronted with these challenges, with perhaps with anger, with judgment, it is simply an invitation to rise above these human emotions. And to remember that, that which unites you, that which bonds you, is far more similar and far more important and transcends all that divides you, for all that divides you in many ways is imagined and manufactured. When you are faced with anger, it is a calling to dig deeper, to reach higher in order to find that which unifies you. 2025 will be a year where you will all be invited to cross these bridges to come together through compassion, to set your differences aside. This is something that humanity has long been invited to do. The vast majority of you have learned to walk together. To recognize that the love within each of you, the love that you grant each other, is a love that serves you not only in this moment, but it is a love that is perpetuated and that will endure for generations to come. Life is an adventure and an opportunity to flourish and thrive. Happiness is less about the things we do, the people we see, the places we go, or the things we achieve, but more about how we feel and our state of being. It's about how we breathe into life and how we let life breathe into us. You are not too different from those that perhaps you see yourselves as different from, and this is truly what stands between where much of humanity is today and your consciousness, unity consciousness. When you invest in your own light and in the light of others, you invest in unity consciousness. You help humanity cross and traverse this bridge into something much greater and grander than what you can all foresee in this moment. And when you move into a space of compassion, you help transmute all resentment, whether it is your own, that of those around you, or that that exists within the human collective, you then become a powerful vehicle and instrument of transmutation, and you become an ambassador of source love and light. This is your journey, and when you make choices that are in accordance with the highest and greatest good of all involved, you actually become a greater amplifier of that light. This benefits you and all those around you. You then become a guide to bring and guide humanity across this bridge that currently exists between many different factions of humanity. What we are creating from the inside, after a period of discernment and deep soul communion. New beginnings that will determine the course of the next months of the year, for the process of seeding starts now, and it is important to start from within which is why we had a meditative period before we can embark on a new phase, a month in which guides invite us to work on freedom, to be able to disengage from old programs through mental and emotional clearing. A new phase in which we are invited to continue working with clearing our ego so we can move from the self to all. As the Aquarian portal will remind us during the entire month, in an attempt to mimic the new timeline's essence that we are heading into. For where we are heading is not about ourselves anymore, but about the whole as a community. We have a wonderful opportunity during this month to work on disengaging ourselves from egoic programs that serve the self, and start seeing everyone within divine love, even though others have chosen to evolve. In a totally different way than we had, for all is valid to grow and expand, as in the end, 
we all will reunify with God's source.